What is going on everyone? I thank you for joining me today. This video is gonna be a little bit different. Maybe it won't be my most popular one and maybe it'll even get censored by YouTube. But I gotta to talk to you about this because I wouldn't be doing my duty if I didn't. More and more I've been meeting people coming down here, moving here, who are moving for the same reason and I think it's a valuable resource because I don't think there's anyone else on YouTube talking about this. And the question is, is Naples, particularly the city of Naples, the freest place in the entire country? Now I don't know if freest is even a word, Maybe the word freedom is best used, but is this a place where you will find the most freedom anywhere in this entire country that we live in? Well, I'm gonna give you my personal experience and I'm gonna give you some of the stories of the people I've been meeting here so far that have been coming from different parts of the world. So personally, in New Jersey, where I used to live, normally during regular times, you know, things are usually how they are. It's a, it's a democratic state. So, you know, there's a certain way that life is lived there. But when the pandemic hit, uh, things change drastically and I really wasn't feeling comfortable. So number one, I mean, just going to the grocery store was a mission. We had to wait in long lines just to get into the store, which really made no sense to me because they wanted us to stay six feet apart from each other inside the store. And they only had a certain number of people that could be in the store. But when we were in line, we're right up next to each other, which really made no sense whatsoever. So really just backwards thinking. The other thing too is the kids were having to stay home. They couldn't go to school. I couldn't even take them to the park when we were in school because all the parks were closed. They literally even went into the parks, guys, and they took down the swings. They would put caution tape around the monkey bars and everything so kids wouldn't even have a place to go and play. And if we tried to, you would get a fine. So I found that this was authoritative, I guess you would call it, and I didn't really like it. So at the same time, I said, well, I'm stuck working from home. There has to be a better place for me to work from than New Jersey if I'm gonna be working from home. I didn't really know this side of Florida. I've only really experienced Orlando, and uh, Miami, which is very much like being in New Jersey, they're big, they're big cities. And, and when I came down to uh, Naples, what I found was that Naples just felt different. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, first things first, no lines to get into any stores, no mask inside of any stores. The schools were scheduled to be open. Uh, August is when they start school here. And ev everything just felt a lot more free. Like your freedom was not taken away. So when I saw that, it was kind of like, an eye opener. You know, all the parks were completely open. You know, people weren't scared to talk to each other or be close to each other. The beaches were open. Everything was completely open. Like nothing had ever happened. So needless to say, I made my decision and during that trip and I said, I'm coming back here. This is where I want to call home. I've been here uh, now well over a year. And from what I've, uh, I've noticed is that yes, there has been times where masks have had to uh, been worn inside of stores. That has gone away. Uh, the schools opened up immediately. My kids are in school. And this is just one of the best places that I feel that I could have my family because it doesn't feel like we're literally under the government's thumb. So I came up with five talking points that I wanna to talk to you guys about. First thing I wanna to talk to you about is uh, if you're a business owner, right? I'm a business owner. I came here to grow my business. I'm in the real estate business. I'm in the YouTube business. Uh, I'm in the investing business. I do a lot of different businesses, but as you know, in certain states, they tax you pretty heavily on a state level. Here in Florida, they do not. Very business friendly. That's one thing I loved about it. I had to close my real estate company physically. I couldn't let people come work there because the government said I couldn't have any people in the office. They couldn't be in there working. Now, in Florida, that really never happened. I mean, it happened on a small level and for a very quick period of time here in um, Southwest Florida and Naples in particular. What I did here, because I wasn't here during that time, what I did here is um, a lot of the bars and the restaurants, they did close down, but it only lasted for a little bit of time. Then the businesses opened back up, restaurants opened back up, tourism flourished here, and it just felt like, you know, businesses here weren't on the brink of uh, being put out of business because some politician thought it was a good idea to keep us at home. So what I'm telling you is that if you're a business owner such as myself, this is a good place to grow roots. Not only is it uh, less expensive, but it also, you don't also don't have to worry about will I be under uh, pressure from local government to be shut down at any time, especially the restaurant industry or the entertainment industry. If you guys are into that, it's a good place to, to look into. Uh, the second thing I wanna talk to you about, number two is, um, uh, yeah, mass regulations. We talked about this, right? Op uh, parks, uh, open beach, uh, like all these things that we, in, in other states now have just become almost um, second nature, like wearing a mask every time you go into a public setting. Uh, in, in, in New York, it's if you wanted to do uh, a lot of the things that the 
uh, the city is doing free concerts. All of these things are only available to you and for you to come to if you've been vaccinated and you're wearing a mask out in the, out in the, in the open. Like, it's, it's, it's nuts. Uh, here, well, maybe I'm getting some of those facts wrong. I don't know about the mask thing if you're vaccinated. I think they're a little looser on that. But here, guys, everything is for everyone. It's all inclusive. We're not discriminating here because you're not wearing a mask. We're not discriminating here if you have not been vaccinated. Number uh, three uh, topic that I want to talk to you about is schools. Schools uh, remain open. They are... Um, top schools but I talked to my daughters and I asked them do they make you wear a mask in school she says no it's optional we can wear a mask if we feel like it but we don't have to now I personally think that that is awesome because um, I know you know you may not agree with me and I'm, this video is not to try to sway your, your 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 thoughts on this but my daughters don't have to wear a mask in school if they don't feel like it. if they want to because maybe they feel uncomfortable or maybe they're sick they can't but they don't have to especially for kids who have really strong immune systems uh, the way I feel about it is the kids should not be uh, breathing their own carbon dioxide that's coming out of their mouth. They should not be breathing that. They should be, they should be breathing fresh air. And uh, their immune systems are really not getting the challenge because remember guys, with an immune system, you have to introduce new foreign bodies and, 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 um, and uh, bacteria and viruses for them to build up this immune system. But if you're completely blocking them all the time, their immune systems are not going to be as strong. That's just my personal opinion on it. You may have a different view on it. Your science may be different. That's just the way I feel. Uh, next, I want to talk to talk to you about um, the fact that we have a governor, uh, DeSantis, who has really been fighting for our rights, fighting for small businesses, uh, fighting for our freedoms. Uh, one of the main things that, that sticks out to me that DeSantis has done for us is the fact that uh, if you um, are being discriminated against by uh, your your business or your job, if you're an employee, or if you're in a government, a local government employee, and uh, you're being threatened to lose your job because you have not been vaccinated, well, DeSantis says that they will be uh, fining and going after any businesses or governments that are threatening to take your job away. Now, that is uh, a breath of fresh air because I've been noticing a big thing that I've coined uh, vaccination migration that's basically people coming from different parts of the country in the world who have opposed uh, to get vaccinated at their jobs and uh, DeSantis is basically saying well, listen we'll welcome you with open arms not that he's telling people not to get vaccinated but he's basically saying that if you choose not to get vaccinated this is not something that you're going to be discriminated against it's not something that you're going to be punished against and and if that's your belief then it's your constitutional right to not do that if you're a first responder and uh, you've lost your job in a different state reason, well, we welcome you and we'll, we'll, we'll find a place for you here. Employment in, in this state, which is growing by over 1,200 people every single day, and probably even more now. So uh, definitely something for you first responders out there. The last thing I want to talk to you about, which is what I've been kind of touching on before, is uh, vaccination. Obviously, this is a really hot topic. Uh, I'm not telling you guys whether you should or shouldn't. I personally, my decision is to not get vaccinated or vaccinate my family. It's not something I, I believe in. Now, if you are at a high risk and you think it's best for you, then that's that's what you decide to do. I know there's a lot of people on YouTube who never take a side and uh, it's because they don't want to lose subscribers, don't want to get negative uh, comments left. But listen, I, I, I think that I would, I would respect someone if they said at least how they felt. I'm not trying to impose that on you, but I'm just telling you that I do not believe in the science. It has not been out long enough for me to feel comfortable enough. Another story I want to share with you is that I have another cl a client who is a nurse, and she came here from California of all places. She basically said to me that I'm not going to be taking uh, you know, this vaccine, and, and neither are a lot of our uh, the people I work with. And uh, she says they're kind of forcing us at the hospital to take these vaccinations, but uh, that was prior to DeSantis kind of coming out with uh, the news that, listen, no one can force you to do this. So uh, luckily for her, she probably uh, does not have to worry about that anymore. Her job security is still there. So I know a lot of nurses that might be watching this or people in the medical industry who are watching this and feel like they're obligated to, to, to basically uh, you know, just fold and, and take the, and take the vaccination. Well, that's not really the case here, unless I'm mistaken. If you know more about this, well, leave it down below in the comment section. But as far as she goes, she's going to be in good hands. Now, if that's what kind of you're looking for, from what I've experienced, I haven't lived in Nevada, I haven't lived in Texas. Uh, I don't know how things are there. I know there are other, other parts of the country uh, that you might get similar uh, type of uh, a feel or a vibe. But I do know Naples and I've been here for over a year now. And I will tell you that if that's kind of what you're looking for, guys, I think you're going to be received uh, with open arms here. Uh, a lot of people here are very like minded. They are very, um, how would I say, uh, they're, not, they're not into big government. They just want to basically 
figure out their own lives and they don't want to try to impede on anyone else's life. They just want to make money and provide for their family. And if that's you, and if you guys are thinking kind of like the way I think and a lot of other people who are thinking who I've been dealing with recently, well, I invite you guys to take a look at some real estate with uh, the link that I'll be leaving down below. I'd be happy to help anybody who is uh, moving here for any of the necessities that I mentioned in this video or any of the other videos that I've shown you guys in the past. And uh, also, if you're looking to make a career change or maybe you want to up your your game in the real estate industry, I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys because we are looking for productive agents to join our team. Uh, we are the fastest growing real estate company ever in the world, so that's something that says a lot. I think you guys should uh, definitely look into that. And with that being said, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from us, go ahead and check out one of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and I will see you next time.